It's 71. Fall of 71. Do you remember anything important happening then? Good evening, developments in the news today. America's top German scientist spoke today on the advantages of the Earth orbital rendezvous approach and getting a man on the moon. He spoke of the long-range advantages of EOR. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. Yes, I was just talking about EOR in our last video. But, Luzma is not happy. And Cunningham is a wimp. Mm hmm. Also, Lee, Lee Trevino. When was the last time I saw him playing golf? Long time ago. Anyway, since I have no cash and have no immediate plans, I want to do an EOR. But there's kind of a problem right now. Our cricket is cricked. So I could go with that, or I could see what I can do with the Jupiter spacecraft and the Nova rocket for a direct approach. Fortunately, our dockings module is getting a good safety factor. We're getting good with it. Still needs more, though. So, let's see what happens in spring. Hopefully the Russians won't land before we do. Good evening, developments in the news today. The Government Office of Accounting Auditors announced today that the United States space program went over budget last year and will deduct five megabucks this year from the space program's budget. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. And President Nixon is visiting China. Oh my. China, China does not have a space program that I know of, especially back in 72. But right now we're dealing with a stinking Nova rocket. Indeed. And a Jupiter spacecraft. Doing a little research on those. Because I'm going to try to the direct approach. Let's see if the... Soviets aren't going to try anything. They're going to try what we tried a few years ago. We failed horribly. And if they succeed, well, I'm going to look bad. But pardon me while I assign some people into the Jupiter program. Also, screw that cricket. Despite 11 successful attempts, I-15. Seriously. Where's my Jupiter assembly program? There it is. I'll just have to assign them all then. Starting with main key. He's not a Pokemon. And on to fall we go. Good evening, developments in the news today. Who saw that coming? The space agency has suffered a severe setback in one of its programs. Repairs must be made, or a loss in safety will occur. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. Also, remember when the Oakland and the A's were good? I do. Oops, I can always fix that later. Let's go to our... Research and Development. And Jupiter, we shall fix you. For 20. Ouch. And research you a little bit more. And research that beautiful Nova rocket. I use beautiful sarcastically. And you can find more about space history and other things here. My score is still way better than the Soviets, though. So I can't be doing that bad. 
And yes, I did try the Sylvia side a few times. But since I have done so well in the past, outside of actually landing on the moon, I do have enough prestige to command a good budget. Good evening, developments in the news today. Oh my! Tragedy at the Cape. An astronaut was killed in a training accident. The space program has canceled all manned missions this season to allow for additional safety inspections. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkwright. Well, that puts a uh, little din in my program here. And kind of reduces everybody's morale there. See a bunch of red and yellows now. That means they're unhappy. Don't worry guys, we'll fly in space soon. Then they'll see. They'll all see. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say hello? And let's plan a future mission. Direct. See a lot fewer steps. Only go into Q instead of T or W or X. So let's hope this does work. Because otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble. And hopefully the Soviets aren't trying anything. Hmm, they're trying their UR-700. That's their big rocket. The Satan rocket. Oh my. And I'm not too worried about that. But hopefully they don't have anything hidden from me. Good evening. Developments in the news today. The Vice President toured a rocket contractor's facility today. He observed a successful engine test firing. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkwright. And, oh my. Mr. Agnew. How dare you. People just pay your taxes. Seriously. It's not that hard. Actually, nowadays it is. Have you seen some of their... tax forms nowadays? Anything besides the easy is impossible. Eighty-nine percent. I think we can do that. We're going direct. And when I come back, it's the moon or bust. Let's hope this thing doesn't bust. <laughs> 